when I first got out of uh, high school, I joined the military um, after some difficulties during my high school career. Uh, when I had initially gone to the Army to try to, to, try to enlist, they wouldn't take me because I had uh, dropped out in my uh, junior year, I guess, of high school. I finished my actual diploma in an alternative setting school, uh, not unlike what we had at the Kent County Secondary ILC. Um, finally got the diploma, went back, uh, joined the Air Force this time because they were taking me with a diploma uh, where they wouldn't with the GED. Um, and I spent eight years doing that. Uh, enjoyed it, it was a good time. When it was time for me to separate, I felt like I wanted to do something that uh, gave back to the community a little bit, you know, and try to help some kids that were in a similar situation. You know, the biggest thing for me is, uh, given my background and sort of the path that I took to get where I am, uh, I have some, some uh, empathy when the kids come in and have other things happening at home. So, even with, you know, having a two-parent household and even with having, you know, food on the table at night and things like that, I still had a difficult time, you know, in the public education sector. So, when I, when I now look at the kids and what they come to me with and they, the hurdles that they have to get through and the things that, you know, they carry with them every day, um, I think it's, it's doubly important that we really recognize you know, those, those additional challenges and uh, try to provide them with everything they need. I want them to know that I care, you know. Um, we're gonna learn a lot of math and we're gonna learn a lot of, uh, you know, language skills and that sort of thing. And none of that's really gonna matter to a lot of these kids. Uh, if I see them five years from now and, you know, AC more and they hug me, then that's 